everybody, Tinchy Tarantula here and welcome to another video. So today's video I'm going to be showing you some different types of tarantula enclosures you can use and buy. So without further ado, this could, this could be a long video. Let's flip the camera around and go through each of these tarantula enclosures that you can buy, that you can use and some of the prices you expect to pay. So, this is an Komodo um, cube glass enclosure. It's a um, medium to large size. This one cost me over £45. And um, this is ideal for um, your medium size terrestrials or your burrowing species. As you can see, it's a nice um, size depth. Um, it's got a mesh lid, um, which is good, helps hold humidity, and it's got a lock as well, and a slide lid like that. Um, next up, we have the sling pots. So this one was an adult locust. So obviously, when you buy your locusts and your crickets, they come in pots like this. Um, I use this for my slings. Um, any sling that's over three centimeters, so you can see, see a sling there. Any sling that's over three centimeters, I use these for. Um, they're great. Just a bit of dirt in the water dish. Grow out my slings in that. Um, this one is a little sling vial. Any sling from a centimeter. 1.5 centimeters so i use these sling vials um another little tub as well for slings decent size sling hence why it's in this tub and the same again another plastic container you can use for your slings um, another sling that's a couple of centimeters as you can see in here is the Exotero glass enclosure. This is a large one. And this houses my Lassidora Para High Bonner. It's got doors as you can see. Doors. Uh, mesh lid again. Comes with a polystyrene background. Um, if you've got large tarantulas, this is ideal uh, for them. Obviously, I will be rehousing this girl, new substrate, taking the foam background off because I found food items get behind the foam background. Um, your tarantulas chew the foam background. So I'll take, and obviously, the foam background does actually take quite a bit of room up as well. And this one cost me over £85. It's got a little vents there as well, look, um, with a catch glass doors as you can see that open that way and I've got little holes so you can put locks on there in case you don't want anything escaping that um, is an old fish tank I was given you can use that trans for tarantulas and that's got the scorpion in I was given that fish tank but decent size so if you've got a fish tank this size not sitting, sitting and doing nothing then you can house it for your tarantulas like I've housed for my scorpion Moving up to this side, we've got a mixture of breeding boxes and fanariums. So this is the large flat exo tero fanarium, which has got my Gina Colata in. It's the perfect size for this girl. Um, holes up, slats on the lid, slats on the side, good for ventilation. Um, decent size, it's the biggest um, fanarium you can get um, flat wise. These two are large exotero breeding boxes. They're different to the fener fenariums. Um, same kind of mesh lid. Little slats on the side, but these have got locks there. And they've also got little catches on that side to feed. Medium size fenarium. Um, pretty much like that fenarium there, but a flat medium size one. This house is um, same again, 
slats on the side, slats on there, and slats on the top with a lid there. Decent for dwarf species or middle sized tarantulas. This one, um, these cost me around £12. That cost me about £12, that cost me 14 because it's bigger. This one cost me £4, which is a 9 litre shoebox enclosure. Um, you can buy these in any shop, stationery shops, B&M's, Poundlands, Home Bargains, little blue things there. They come in different sizes, through the holes myself, all around the enclosure. Um, these are good because they can stack on each other as well, the same as these, they can all stack, so they're pretty good. Same as the shoebox enclosures, you can stack them and they come in small sizes, medium sizes, large sizes. You can get 3 litres, 6 litres, 9 litres, 25 litres, 30 litres. Half a dozen more fanariums there, but these are the tall fanariums, not flat. So, these are the cheaper fanariums. And these ones are about £9 a piece. Pay about 8 99 just depends where you shop around. Um, these are good for your arboreal species, your terrestrial species, or your burrowing species. And as you can see, all my old world burrowing species are all housed in these. And Balfouri in there. Tajaris Marshali in there. Um, I've got some more. That's an Exotero one as well. You can get Exotero square boxes. Rectangle boxes, uh, flat breeding boxes. That's an Exotero Fenarium, which hold, houses my um, ABT. As you can see, it's pretty much slightly smaller than that Fenarium there, but still does a, still does a job. Obviously, you can hold your burrowing species, your boreal species, your medium-sized tarantulas in there. Um, roughly about pay about twelve pound for that one. Obviously, another one of all my basically all my <laughs> all my old world baboons are all in these tall fanariums. Another komodo. This is the small komodo. I paid about twenty five to thirty pound for that one, and that one houses your dwarf species. You can see you've got a dwarf species in there. My Brazilian pink dwarf beauty. Same kind of style as the big um, Komodo, but a lot smaller. Obviously, lock and lid again with a mesh vent. And last but not least, you've got a Repti Zoo tall arboreal enclosure, which cost me about 40 to 45 pound. Ideal for your arboreal spiders. Um, the same, basically the same kind of style as the Komodo enclosures, glass, um, with your mesh top and your locking lid. Obviously it's tall, so it's ideal for your um, arboreal spiders. And that's the only arboreal spider I've got, my Pocophery regalis. So as you can see, plenty of different tarantula enclosures um, you can buy and suited for your budgets. So, if you're looking for cheap tarantula enclosures and you haven't got a lot of budget, shoe box enclosures. If you're looking for something for your arboreals, your arboreals and your old world species, and you want something in budget, these fanariums are ideal. If you want something a bit flashy, then you can go to your glass enclosures like so. Um, if you've got any spare fish tanks around, ideal. Obviously, if you've got tarantulas, make sure you cover that hole up if you've got a fish tank like this. And this has got a scorpion in, which can't climb the glass, so it's all right. But if you've got a fish tank, you can use that. For your much larger species, like your Gina Colata or your Green Bottle Blue, and you want something in budget, then these flat... Fenariums do the job. All these breeding boxes do the job. And if you've got plenty of slings like me, various sizes, 
then there's the various types of sling jars you can use. Um, you can pick up plastic tubs cheap, you can pick up sling vials cheap. Um, you can pick up these tubs for free, basically, every time you buy food. When you go into a pet store, they'll always have tubs like this with um, crickets in, mealworms in, locust in. So if you've got slings at this size, like this little Tajara Sandry here, then you can use them. So there you have it. That is a wide range of different size tarantula enclosures, uh, different prices uh, for different budgets. I've got a very <laughs> various, as you can see, various size enclosures um, for various size tarantulas, uh, for various types of tarantulas and various budgets so all in all that wraps up the video so if you have got tarantulas and you're looking at enclosures obviously do look at which tarantula enclosure is more suited for you and obviously it all comes down to space as well as you can see i've got various sizes but i've got plenty of space in the spider cupboard well i've got no space in the spider cupboard as you can see i'm running out of room because i've got a big tank in there but I am rehousing the scorpion into one of these. I'll be getting rid of the tank and I'll be able to stack more enclosures on top of here. Because I do want to get more spiders eventually. I'd like to get another couple of more arboreal and a couple more terrestrial. So I've not got any um, species in my collection like brachypalmas and stuff like that. But there you have it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. A different kind of video on tarantula enclosures. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment so you never miss a video. And don't forget, there's no need to be scared of spiders. Bye for now.